Uh, hello students, uh, in this session we start uh, chapter 3 which is uh, the starting of fundamentals of crystallography. Here we are talking about uh, the differences in atomic arrangement between crystalline and non-crystalline materials. We will talk about uh, crystallographic directions and planes. Uh, this will be used later when we talk about uh, slip plane and uh, mechanical deformation of materials. Uh, in the previous chapter, we, chapter 2, we discussed about how the distance between atom and different type of bonding result in different values of uh, <coughs> bond energy. Now we compare packing effect in the energy level. Um, with non-dense atoms, where atoms are sitting in irregular order, bond energy is not at its minimum level, so the system is not stable. While in dense and ordered excuse me, uh, ordered packing, because the system is at its minimum level of bond energy, it's stable. Therefore, dense <coughs> ordered pack structures tend to have a lower energy. If a um, set of arranged set of atoms um, arranged in a repeated particular way and organized uh, forming, this is called crystalline structure. Here, atoms packed in periodic uh, format and they have uh, 3D arrays, three dimensional arrays. An example are metals and many ceramics and some polymers. Uh, if atoms have uh, no periodic packing, this is called non-crystalline, and this is happening in complex structure, structure and this is mainly due to uh, rapid cooling, and if the atoms are in amorphous shape, uh, amorphous is the other uh, word for non-crystalline material. Uh, here, these atoms, um, there is no uh, no more periodic packing and form, as I said before. Non-crystalline or amorphous materials are um, a little bit discussed at the end of the chapter. Uh, in crystal structure, it is uh, preferred to divide the whole structure into uh, small repeat entities that we know as units or unit cell. Uh, so basically, these units are the smallest repeating unit, which means that um, we can make the whole crystal structure by sitting uh, by setting these cells or unit sets beside each other and then we have the whole crystal system. Uh, different type of unit cell configuration shape um, uh, we have uh, excuse me uh, a result in different uh, crystal system. Uh, the parameters or graphical parameters that control this are shown here. Side length A, B, and C, and angles alpha, beta, and gamma. With different values of relation between A, B, C, and angle, of course, we can have seven different crystal system, and also we have 14 crystal lattices. These are shown in table 3.1 one of your tech. Uh, what is crystal lattice? Um, the arrangement of atoms inside the crystal system and how atoms are sitting in a crystal system for um, a crystal lattice. As I said, we have 14 uh, crystal lattice. A part of uh, this crystal lattice will be introduced in chapter 4. You can also look it up in, in the internet and I can also show you here this link uh, down the slide, sorry, uh, I mean this one, we just go there, and uh, I also want to, after looking to the Google web page for different crystal lattices, you also look it up for a um, similar answer in your book as well, so I put a question mark here, and uh, this is what I mean by 14 crystal uh, lattices.
in case you need to locate a point <coughs> in a unit cell, um, you can get help from uh, point coordinates. As an example, we find the point coordinate for the center of uh, this unit cell. As the position of the center is A, so from here, A over 2 or half A, this side half B, and the distance from origin along Z side is half C, C over 2. Uh, mainly because the center is right in the middle middle along any of uh, three coordinates then we can uh, we have a over b b over sorry a over 2 b over 2 and uh, c over 2 the next step we normalize we can normalize this based on the coordinate indices based on a b c and then we have the final point coordinate which is this one half 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 as the point coordinate for the center in a similar manner for this corner right one this one we can find that the point coordinate for the corner is one 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 um, it's obvious if we start from a point and the unit cell like this one and then we move uh, integer multiple of uh, these indices or this uh, lattice constant then of course we reach the identical point similar point in another unit cell. so I start from here we move 1b to the right we find the uh, identical point in the another unit cell one point in a negative direction of y it's gonna be similar if we move from here and we go to C units along Z axis of course we reach to another identical point in another unit cell okay the next step is uh, to talk about crystal graphic direction which is the same as vectors uh, that we learned in geometry um, so vector is connecting two points say for example the red one is connecting this point origin to this corner The start point uh, is called tail, and the ending point is called head. Similar to any vector, it has three components, x, y, and z axis component. To find it in details, the x axis value of tail and the x axis value of head uh, we have to find these two values and then we deduct so to find the x value for the vector we deduct the x value of tail from the x value of the hat so we can write the value of x y and z axis for the vector inside the bracket the integers values inside the bracket and uh, that actually shows us a direction uh, this one, 1, 1, 1 is an example for the red vector. This one, of course, going to be 1, 1, 0. And this is 1, 0, 0. Uh, we can practice this uh, more in the class. And the algorithm of how this is working is also shown here. How to find the crystallographic direction, step by step, is discussed or explained in this algorithm. So, first, all we need to do find uh, is the coordinate of the vector tail which is point one here look at point one and then we go to point two and find the coordinate value of uh, for point two as you can see here so we deduct these values tail value from head value as you can see here and then we divide them by the coordinate components for the unit cell which is A for X, B for Y and C for Z as you can see here and of course this results in a value as shown here 1, 0 and 1 over 2 the next step we adjust to the smallest um, integer value which means we we'll multiply or we divide similar all these values by a similar number so there is no more fraction they're all integer number as you can see here then we have to multiply this one 
by 2 so that 1 over half is changing to 1 and of course if you multiply this one by 2 it's going to stay integer and this one will stay integer and what we finally do we actually uh, uh, we write um, all these three values in a bracket with no commas uh, showing the crystallographic direction of this uh, of this vector. This is the crystallographic direction of this vector. Uh, now here let's find um, the crystallographic direction for the vector shown uh, which is connecting point 1 to point 2. Um, point 1 is actually tail and point 2 is hat. We have the value of x, y and z uh, for all of them. We will practice and solve this in the class. So here I leave a question mark so that we can continue this in the class. This is the initial uh, part of the solution. Here is a beautiful presentation of one of these um, vectors. You actually have the possibility of uh, these animation provided by Wiley, the environment called uh, VMSE. You need to have a password and login. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So here uh, I have log logged into my uh, account, Wiley Plus account. This is a temporary one actually and I, I have access to some information including the one I just described. I insert read the study in practice and I move to the chapter that I desire. There are lots of information here. <coughs> and the virtual material sci science and engineering, which is VMSE, is starting here. So I will click on this crystallographic direction some general information here and this one is actually uh, these are the crystallographic direction that you can watch it only in this uh, environment to have access to this you can see I can rotate it and this is one zero one zero uh, minus one which is shown by a bar here this one is showing one minus 1 and 1 as you can see here of course minus 1 here belong to uh, y-axis so there is a change from tail to head uh, equal to minus 1 unit along y-axis uh, just remember that uh, you can have access to this one when you purchase uh, uh, this account now the next step is how to find uh, the crystallographic direction uh, when we deal with hexagonal closed pack unit cell. This is one of the unit cells that uh, you can see them in the table that's provided in your book. So first of all what we do if we are given the direction and you know it's inside the bracket for HCP structure first we remove the bracket then we divide uh, it by the largest integer number so that all values are um, smaller or equal than 1 and then what we do we go so step 3 we multiply each of these terms that we have found in step 2 by the appropriate unit cell dimension which is a1 a2 a3 and of course uh, c uh, along z axis and then we have all these terms uh, along uh, these four axes we start from the tail which is origin and we move um, and stepping off these projections uh, this projection to locate the head uh, let's look at this example we want to draw <coughs> uh, this crystallographic dimension as soon as see there are four elements so you know that this is not cubic anymore this is a hexagonal crystallographic direction so what you do the first step is remove these brackets and then uh, we write them down uh, one bar is minus one as we said uh, two bar is minus two um, below their corresponding axis now we divide them by the largest number among this one the largest number is three uh, so we divide each of them by three so just the largest absolute number of course and this one gonna be 
1. Uh, the next, next step uh, projection is we divide these values by their corresponding axis coordinate as uh, these coordinates, these sides uh, along A2, A1, and A3 are all A, so we divide the first three elements by A. Uh, sorry, I correct, uh, we multiply by A because it's the same number, and the last one we multiply it by the component along Z axis which is C so we will have this three number now the rest is we start from origin and then we go A over three units along A1 axis in the negative direction so this A1 axis so we go one over three if we have one two three units we go one unit in this direction as you can see we start from O minus 1 over 3 along and then minus 2 over 3 along A2 and plus A over 3 along A3 and then plus C along Z axis so this is the head point so the next step is connecting origin to the head point as you can see here uh, so I guess it's good for the, this session. We practice more, of course, inside the class, uh, more examples regarding ACP class, uh, crystallographic and uh, cubic crystallographic direction and coordinate. Thank you.